and it's eliminated the drag racing up and down our street. The city of Niles is trying a new way to combat the speeding problem in a residential neighborhood, and people who live there say it seems to be working. Fast driving has been a big complaint on Hartzell Avenue for years. It's a long, straight, and wide road that serves as a cutthroat. Now the city is trying a new tactic to slow drivers down. Here's Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley. If you ask anyone who lives on Hartzell Avenue about their street, they'll tell you speeding is a problem. Yeah, it was virtually a speedway, yes, morning, noon, and night. It's a residential neighborhood with a posted 25 miles per hour speed limit, although Deb and Robert Fink compared it to a racetrack. They would come at the corner and it would just be like at the, at the drag strip when they take off from the line. They would just turn the corner and just open the cars up and they're loud and they'd race all the way up the street. The speeding issues were verified through studies. Niles traffic officer Sean Crank says police tried everything, spending countless hours patrolling the road, running radar, writing tickets, and giving hundreds of warnings. Um, nothing seems to be working. Um, so we decided we needed to look into something, some kind of a physical change to the street. The city recently added center and edge lines, plus bike lanes on both sides in a different approach to slowing drivers down. Niles Mayor Steve Mankevich says, including signs, the city spent about $1,700 on the improvements. Hopefully it works, and if it does, we spent minimal amount of money to get a maximum result. Crank says if this works, they'll consider doing something similar in other problem traffic areas in the city. The Finks say they've already noticed a difference. So I'm glad this is happening and working out. And as you can see, people have slowed down just going by nice and easy. It's going to be a lot safer for the kids that live up and down here, too. In Niles, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.